CEO Ronald Hitler from Create the Difference. I want to talk to you about how do you know what the right type of bowling ball is for you. And we're going to use these Brunswick balls here as an, a way to kind of explain part of that process in terms of what that means. So we're going to start over here. These balls right here, they look pretty. They've got a design on them, as you can see. You have the Team Brunswick there. You got an American flag design there. But these bowling balls are what you would consider to be polyester or plastic bowling balls. Now, plastic bowling balls primarily are used uh, by very, very beginning bowlers or by bowlers that want to throw the ball straight. You can see they typically come in different colors, as you can see here. And then they always tend to have a very basic type of core shape. So this is not going to give you a lot of performance at all. It's actually meant to be used primarily now, like I said, uh, to get the bowling ball to go fairly straight. And they've got the same, these are the same kind of thing. They're just uh, much more uh, colorful and textured. So polyester balls are the balls that you would start out with as you were a very, very beginning bowler. But as soon as you begin to uh, decide that, you, hey, you like this bowling thing, you're going to become a little bit more serious. You're going to want to look to the twist line of product. Okay, so the twist line, they come in six different colors as well. And if you look at the twist, right, there's a core shape on them. And that core obviously uh, has a little bit more of a dynamic property than the plastic balls do. So that's also still kind of a beginner ball, but nonetheless it's going to be able to give you the opportunity and the chance to be able to figure out a little bit more uh, performance, a little bit more hook, uh, especially comparatively to the plastic ball. Now, from there, you can also move up a little bit into the Rhino price point. So the Rhino is kind of neat because the Rhino also comes in some different colors there. And then obviously with it, it also has a little bit of a unique course. If you can see here in the lighter weights, that 10 and 11, it does not have a, a very aggressive core at all. Actually, it has no actual real core. And then same thing over here, look. Same thing. So when you get to the lighter weights, and over here, same thing. When you get to the lighter weights, you can see that there's not really an inside piece. That ins and that, what that means is that's what they have to do in order to be able to get the bowling ball to be the correct weight. So that's kind of how that works. So Rhino is going to give you more performance than a twist, which is going to give you more performance than a polyester ball or a visible like these are, or the T-zones like we talked about. Here's the T-zone right here. Okay. Now, if you really want to get into the performance categories, then you're going to want to move up in price point. It's going to cost you a little bit more money, but now you're looking at some of the bowling balls that have some surface on them. So like this jagged edge here has some surface on it. This one's got a little bit of shine to it. But notice that these two balls are definitely more dull than any of these bowling balls. So all the bowling balls we've shown you so far have all been shiny, and now we're beginning to become two bowling balls that have a little bit more surface. And that surface is going to be key because that's gonna help you get a little bit more performance. And then obviously these bowling balls, as I'll show you here right here, these bowling balls have a little bit more of a dynamic core in them. So you can see the core in these balls is more aggressive than that core. So what you'd wanna do then is you say, okay, well, I've got a little bit more performance. Uh, I'm looking for even more performance. You could move up to this Hero bowling ball here. The Hero actually has its own type of core shape as well. It happens to be a shiny bowling ball. And then if you wanted even more than that, you'd move up to the Vapor Zone, which is an even stronger type of bowling ball. You can actually see right here, the core of that ball is uh, definitely a different looking shape. And then they've got a couple of other more price points. They've got a Kingpin price point, which is even higher. And then their highest price point is the Quantum which they're kind of showcasing right there on their catalog. The Quantum price point is their highest price point that they make. Um, this Melee Jab ball happens to be a specific ball that pro shops can acquire through spending some money uh, buying some of their products. So in short, if you were starting out bowling and you wanted to figure out what you wanted to do as a beginning bowler, you're probably going to start with one of these polyester type bowling balls, one of those, a T-Zone. And then as soon as you start to find that you like the game, you're going to want to move to a twist. A twist is going to give you that reactive performance, which is the reactive is the same kind of thing that is in all of the rest of the balls that we talked about, but there are different types of performance of reactive bowling balls. These are the lower end ones. These are going to be a little bit more, and then these are going to be more, more, more in the most, obviously. So middle bowler, or bowler beginning to get a little more serious, you're going to start with a twist, move your way to a rhino, and then into their performance line. And in the performance line, they actually make a whole bunch of different bowling balls that are performance. When you switch over and look at some of the other uh, categories, other balls that they have, there's different types of bowling balls, but these bowling balls all tend to be much more performance-oriented uh, for the more serious to league uh, to competitive bowlers. So now you get a little bit more insight on how that process works. And if you're looking to have a bowling ball, 
uh, for you, like I said, think about what type of bowling ball you're going to start out with and then what kind of bowling ball you may want to end up with because obviously they keep coming out uh, fairly regularly. And if you're into choices and colors and options, look more for those lower price points like Twists, Rhinos, and, t- and T-Zones. And if you're looking for more of a performance bowling ball, look for the different price points and then begin to use that as your guide to help you pick the best bowling ball for your game. If you have more questions, need more information, make sure you check us out at ctdbowling.com. Ronald Hicklin, CEO from Creating a Difference. Have a great day.